today on Running to Him. Our, our praise to God is not only for the good times, as the but also for those times in which our struggles. Today we will read Philippians chapter 3 and 4 and concentrate on chapter 3, verses 8 through 12. Philippians 3, 8 through 12 says, More than that, I count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them but rubbish, so that I may gain Christ, and that I may be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own derived from the law, but that which is through the faith in Christ, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death, in order that I might attend the resurrection of the dead, not that I have already obtained it, or I have already become perfect, but I press on so that I may lay hold of that which I also was laid hold of by Christ Jesus. Now, our writing today contains an incredible passage. Paul writes about how we should view our walk with Christ. And let's think about that a little bit. He tells us to count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ. He tells us that everything we have should be counted as rubbish if it will gain us Christ. He tells us our righteousness does not come from the law, but because we have faith in Christ. We can know and have fellowship with his sufferings. We can be conformed to his death to attain the resurrection from the dead. And finally, we are to press on because there is work to do in our Christian walk. Let's dwell on that for a moment. If we have a relationship with Christ, we have the power to be completely changed. We have the power to fellowship with God and then fellowship with Christ's sufferings. This is precisely the opposite of those who hold a health and welfare prosperity movement God. God doesn't want us to be rich in this world. He wants us driving towards the next world. Our lives would be so much more different if we focused on what God wanted us to do rather than what we wanted to do. This devotion will be shorter than most, not because there is little to say, but because there's so much to consider. Who are we in Christ? What do we really want out of our lives? What are the advantages of submitting to God rather than submitting to the world? We should be pondering these questions today. We should seek a change in our lives. Ambrose the Aster, writing in about 366 to 384 AD, writes this. Throughout the letter, Paul bears witness to his joy in them and praises obedience for their faith. He is, however, concerned that they, like all who are subject to human conceits, might become elated as though they were already worthy. So he tells them openly, speaking of his own person, that something is still wanting for perfect righteousness. He urges them to good works. If he who is adorned with such dignity confesses that he is still wanting in perfection, they would understand how much more they must work to acquire the blessings of righteousness. That comes from his commentary on Philippians. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.